90 Day Fiancé stars couples who've remained on the franchise for several seasons for their fondness of drama and Michael Ill is on me and Angela Deem are one of them. Viewers have sided with either in different conflicts but often viewers side with Michael over Angela. The couple has had many ups and downs, facing challenges with visas and family. The couple has even faced controversies over their handling of certain situations. Angela is a grandmother from Georgia, and Michael is 22 years her junior and is based in Nigeria. They met online before meeting in Nigeria on 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Days Season 2, where they faced challenges from Angela's jealousy and Michael's family's expectations. They eventually got married in Nigeria in 2020 before applying for a spousal visa. Due to travel bans in the COVID-19 pandemic, the couple has struggled to reunite in the same country. Angela has been criticized for her abrasive demeanor and domineering personality. She tends to scream and bulldoze others in conversation until she gets her way. Angela has exhibited this behavior with her partner, his family, and other cast members of 90 Day Fiancé. Angela's choice of a younger partner causes many viewers to believe she chose this dynamic to have more control in the relationship. Here are several instances when fans sided with Michael over Angela. Angela. When Angela went to visit Michael in Nigeria on Before the 90 Days Season 3, she confronted him about an incident of infidelity, with Michael admitting he had received oral sex from another woman he met at a club. In order to get Angela to forgive him, he bought her an entire cake, which softened her anger over the incident. However, later in the season, Angela blew up at Michael after he posted a photo of him on a boat with an unknown woman in the background. Angela kicked Michael out of the hotel room and was approached by Michael the next day while getting her hair done. He once again and brought her a cake as a peace offering. Fans were shocked and outraged when Angela took Michael's apology and shoved it in his face before walking away in anger. When they first began dating on 90 Day Fiancé, Michael's family was insistent he and Angela have a child so the baby could carry on the family name. Even though Angela was already in her 50s, she agreed to attempt to tote a baby for Michael, even going to an OBGYN in Nigeria, where she was told she had one egg remaining. This turned out to be false. As Angela found out from a doctor in the United States, while she asked her daughter Skyla to donate her eggs, she refused, wanting nothing to do with her mother's fertility process. However, fans felt Angela was only making excuses by claiming she would only have a baby if her own genetics were involved. After telling Michael she wouldn't go forward with attempting a pregnancy, she spent thousands of dollars on weight loss surgery and a breast reduction followed by an augmentation. Fans were sympathetic with Michael when he questioned why Angela would spend so much money on cosmetic surgeries, but was unwilling to go forward with egg donation or surrogacy. When Angela went to Los Angeles to have her surgeries performed, she met Surgeon Drive. Michael Obeng, her surgeon, in addition to sharing his first name with her husband, is also from Africa. Anglia made it clear she was attracted to Drive. Obeng, flirting with him while he examined her breasts, she commented, I don't know if God is trying to give me a gift or get me in trouble. Angela said about her attraction to her doctor, Angela has been a very jealous partner to Michael, as evident by the cake incident and blowing up at him over any perceived betrayal. However, she completely brushed off Michael's hurt and concern over her openly flirting and admitting her attraction to drive. Oh bang. Fans were shocked during the 90 Day Fiancé happily ever after. Tell all when Angel admitted she'd accepted a ride home alone with drive. Oh bang. Despite all this, the 90 Day Fiancé couple appears to still be together.